you know what? You guys, I actually have a little bit of time today, so I think we're going to do it Let's playing Ymir until I lose. Let's, Let's do it. Quick. Switch back to this skin. Oh, wait, no, no, actually the skin. I got a few comments saying that uh, Isra, I don't know how to say the name, Iriz Ymir uh, is their favorite skin, so let's do it. Um, yeah, but here it is, playing Ymir until I lose, and let's, let's just get into this, man. I'm excited. Okay, we're up against a Freya. If I if I'm doing this, I kind of want to try hard. I don't think I I don't think mannequins is the way to go against Freya, but I mean, we could. You know what I mean? It's possible. Don't think I'm gonna get Chalice quite yet. Definitely want Blinker beads. Either one uh, is good for me. Yeah, it's like mannequins is good on on Ymir, but uh, I, I just like the attack speed from Gilded Arrow. Plus, Gilded Arrow got buffed, so it's always nice. Uh, I am going to skip this pause, by the way, and the editing, so I'll be right back. All right, the Freya was just mentioning how am I supposed to win against a Diamond Bear. I'll let them know their three is powerful in this matchup. But, uh, yeah, no, Freya can definitely win this. Uh, but if it's your first time fighting a Ymir, I don't know, it could be, it could be a little dicey, you know? Uh, also, uh, I think this is my first Ymir video on this map since the map change. Oh, did you not level the three, though? You definitely should have leveled it up. Oh, come on, man. I should have just blinked for it. Uh... Hey, well, you know, you know, nice thing in life is there's always second chances, right? <laughs> always second chances. You miss it the first time, get it the second. Yeah, I told her her three super powerful, but I guess she didn't level it up. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, but I was gonna—I was saying that how this is my first video back on this map with Ymir. I think I'd, I'd have to check the channel. Uh, but yeah, I, I used to play Ymir so much on this map, and he's, he's pretty good on it. Pretty good on this map, especially for contesting red buff. We're, gonna, we're actually again. The video is Ymir until I lose. So. I'm going to be stealing buffs, going to be doing every and everything to keep the ball rolling, the snowball. And not only that, but, uh, who? Not only that, but, oh, is I not going to kill? Dang it. I lost my train of thought, Freya. You interrupted me. What was I saying? Oh, not only that, but we, you know, we're just going to keep the snowball going, just taking as many things as we want but i am also close to masters as i had mentioned in the previous video which means that if we win enough today i will get masters with ymir but who knows right who knows can't predict the future looks like she's starting tier two ring i'm not too scared of that however that does mean she might go into a bumpus hammer late game which would be terrifying on freya because her 2 and one I think they go on cooldown right away. And what that means is if she uses her 2 and one her like 2 auto-attack, 1 auto-attack, she's going to get that ability back really fast. Uh, yeah, Bumpus Hammer would actually be pretty insane on Freya. I've never seen it because it's really hard to get online. But yeah. Oh, you used that so early. We need to dodge this 3. Nah. Almost got it. That was really good of her because now I'm going to miss out on this wave a little bit. Uh, we're also going to go for an early Demon King this game. Uh, anything to keep her from getting to late game. That's super important. Uh, against a proper late game Freya build, we will not... I don't think we will win. I want to bait out her three. To have my walls down, I can block off the wave. That's pretty strong to do. You know her ult's down. Oh, are you kidding me? That didn't kill you? My ult bit for almost nothing. Come on. Oh, it's because she got Hikate. Oh, I thought you were going into a demonic. You went Hikate. Yeah, I actually think that would have made the difference for that kill. That's okay. We're still quite a bit ahead, and we still get the timer on this red buff uh, for taking it. That's good. 
Let's go over here to do that. Can't be making too many mistakes like that, though. Can't be doing that. Okay, let's clear the wave. Alright, come over here. I'm going to put another point in my 2 instead of my ultimate, because my ultimate is on cooldown for quite a while right now. I also want to go and get that XP camp pretty soon. Um, second relic, definitely want a, either a thorns or a beads. I think a beads will be better. Just wait out her ability. Literally no reason to uh, try to go for that. Ah, I couldn't dodge it. Nice. She's probably going to ult here. There it is. Back on out, get her buff, get XP camp, and back, then we'll go for Demon King pretty soon. Good. Getting a ton of the extra XP and gold. Let's place our free ward too. I'll probably buy a ward as well. And we can clear this wave as well. Let's place the wall to group up the minions for my two. Oh, but she's here. Okay. Just wait. Just wait for the ability. It's fine. Okay, go for our blue buff back, and then we're going to prepare for Demon King. Did want that XP camp, but I think it's a little out of our way right now, considering how much mana we have. Could be a little risky. Okay, I'm going to go Shoguns. Uh, sometimes I go Pestilence against Freya, but that's only if they start Bancroft. She did not start Bancroft, so we don't need as much anti-heal. Oh, look, someone followed Twitch. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Thanks for following the Twitch, even though I'm not live. I appreciate that. That little, uh, that little uh, animation is done by one of my viewers, Likoi. He's amazing. It's, uh, it's a little jam emote of my cat Copper. I wonder what she's gonna, she's building into, I guess. I forget what that item is. Is that into Toxic Blade? I don't think so. Or is it? Toxic Blade, Witch Blade? Something like that? I can check since it's, uh, we both can build into it. Oh, she is out of position, though, so we're not going to check right now. Oh, she missed, but I missed, too. Let's try to get her all at least. Place the wall to funnel her to the right. This actually might be perfect to go for Demon King. Oh, absolutely. She just ulted. This is perfect. I did forget to get the ward, but that's okay. I always want to keep the commentary good, but sometimes I forget to do little things because of that. We do have our alt to secure this if we want to. I don't think we need to use our alt. Perfect. That will let us get an early tower, hopefully, or at least a lot of tower damage. It also gives us a lot of health and mana for boxing. Uh, let's clear this wave. I'm not going to back, although I could to get an item. But we want to keep this pressure with Demon King right now. Let's dodge these autos. Serpentine a little bit. Get near the archers, throw our two down when the minions are grouped. Go for this. Try and get a freeze. Keep in mind that pretty much uh, everything she has is down now. Yeah, her, her beads are down, her alt is down. So if we get a nice alt here, am I actually not auto attack? That way I can blink right next to her. That's going to be a huge amount of damage. There we go. And now we have a full minion wave, which is always good. Going to kill this minion for attack speed from Gilded Arrow. Let's keep going. Probably not going to get a lot of damage here on Phoenix. We'll get a little bit. I mainly just want the wave, to be honest, when it spawns. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I didn't expect you to be that close. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay, she's not... I'm going to place my ward to see how close she is because I want this red buff. Uh, we still have Demon King for a little bit. It is healing us. Percent health. Plus we have Bancrofts. Okay, plus her ult's down. So I'm, I actually might want to turn around and fight here with a red buff. I don't think she'll expect it. Huge amount of damage. Please don't hit the three. Uh, I tried to dodge out of it. I think she is dead unless she hits like every auto here. That is a Toxic Blade. I can't believe I hit that. I can't believe I hit that. That was so close. If she had gone in a straight line instead of around the corner, I would not have hit that freeze. 
Okay, good for us. Good for us. Let's go uh, take our blue buff. Can't really get uh, uh, get the XP cap. Man, we're doing so much stuff. Look how much gold we have. Usually, you don't want to have this much gold in hand. You want to be spending your items, but we just have so much pressure that how could we not just keep taking things? Uh, Gold-wise, we're almost 2,000 gold ahead, which is insane. I'm actually going to go into a... I want Typhons, but she already has Toxic Blade. Crazy idea. I don't build it often. But because we're killing her so much and we've already got a good lead, Karen's Queen might not be that bad because one reason that this go this matchup is bad in the late game is movement speed. Uh, also, I decided to go for a sprint because, again, movement speed. Getting near the Freya. Getting near the Freya is the problem. If we get near the Freya, she's a dead Freya. And we can do that with sprint. We can do that with uh, Karen's Coin if we can get the movement speed. I don't build it often in duel at all because it's hard to get stacked. But if we can get a few movement speed stacks, that would be awesome. And also gives 20% pen, so good stuff. Uh, if we want double defense, might want a wing blade for when she hits us with her two. Okay, she missed her ability. We are going in right now. Ah, she's a little bit too fast. That's all right. That's all right. She doesn't have too much damage right now. Uh, Demon King is up. We have our ultimate for secure. We have a ward place, so she can't really come and sneak this and steal it from us. About five auto attacks before we use an ability just to maximize our damage with our passive. As you can see, a huge amount of damage from rear passive. And now she's in an awkward place. She's in a really awkward place. Oh, uh, what? Oh, hold on. And she is dead. Good stuff. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, we got... I don't really care about the HP 5 stacks on the Karen's coin. Uh, we're kind of hoping for the movement speed stacks. Those, those are the good ones in duel. Uh, but that's all right. Should be able to take this with uh, the minions. Backdoor protections are gone. Uh, backdoor protections, if anyone, anyone does not know, it reduces your autos by 50%. So, always hard to take objectives without minions. Good mechanic. It's a good mechanic in Smite. It used to be way back in the day. My Smite age is showing, but uh, like Bakasura minions and Bastet cats, they used to actually remove backdoor protections. And man, you'd get backdoored almost every single game. That was a good change. But they changed it at the worst time. Because I dealt with all the backdooring stuff. And then finally, they introduced Kuzumbo into the game. And I was like, oh boy. I finally get to use uh, a pet to remove backdoor protections. This could be so good. And then th I think it was the patch that Kuzumbo was allowed in Rank Duel. Uh, they removed pets removing backdoor protections. Which is, hey, that's the way it should be. It's just kind of funny how once they finally add a Guardian that can do it. Uh, they removed the mechanic. But oh well. Such is life. Looks like she could be going into a Spear of the Mages. I can't imagine that's a Divine Ruin. I don't have that much healing, and she already has Toxic Blade. Swallow her off, try to dodge a three. Not having beads is pretty unfortunate, but I think the sprint is better when we're this far ahead. Because if she does miss her three, we can just kind of sprint at her. We can actually alt titan can't hurt us like this that is a thing that is the case on this map specifically that you can put the wall between you and the titan and it cannot damage you as long as you're not moving titan does uh remove walls but only if the titan like walks through it oh wait no i'm taking damage am i wrong i could have sworn i wasn't taking damage earlier ah maybe they patched it never mind maybe they did patch it because the thing is on this map, before they changed it, before they removed this map last time, you could still do it. And then when they introduced the season, you know, the, the oh man, all these maps. They introduced the map without the Demon King, uh, the old classic Joust. Uh, when they brought that back, I could not do the thing with Ymir any, anymore where you don't take damage. 
I'm going to have to look back at that because I think when I was ulting, I didn't take any Titan damage. But then the second time when I placed the wall, I was taking Titan damage. So that was just strange. So I suppose we'll have to fact check that on if it's still a thing or if it's been patched. I'm not quite sure if it's a bug or what, but it's patched. I guess it was unintended. Or maybe I'm too close to Titan. That could also be it. Okay. Oh, Phoenix, 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 sprint out, sprint out. Wall her off. If we die here, it's worth. I got Phoenix. That's what matters. I buy minions. Get our freeze. Oh my goodness, let's go. Let's go, Yamir. This is why we love this god. The turn around potential is insane. Karen's coin actually didn't work out that well. Uh, if I had known we were only going to get HP 5 stacks and how the game would have went, I probably would have went demonic uh, instead. But hey, amazing game. Good stuff all around. And let's get into the next one because this is Yamir until I lose. All right, you guys. It's a diamond on her. Uh, here we go. It is Counteract, who is a GM. Three stars on her. This matchup is a difficult one. Oh, no. This is only our second Ymir game. Say it ain't so. Uh, I think we should start with Chalice this time. Uh, just to be a slightly more efficient on our gold. Still going to go blink in this matchup. This is... Okay, here's the thing. Ymir versus on her is one of my favorite Ymir matches in terms of fun. Because, well, not I guess not fun, but, like, in terms of how close it can be. Um, but it's only it's only if you don't die at the first wave. If we die at the first wave, this is going to be really bad. Um, if we get first blood ourselves, it's a pretty fun matchup. It has a nice back and forth. There's a lot of counterplay with the walls, uh, the freezes, everything. Uh, there he is. So, yeah. We just don't, definitely don't want to get first blooded or anything like that. Damn, a lot of free damage there for him. However, his two is now down and he cannot clear the wave as fast as us, which is good. He's using it a lot on me instead of minions, which, hey, I'll take it. He's putting all of his poke on me, actually. He's not even doing it on the minions at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that, dude. You just missed an entire minion wave. Yeah, you just missed an entire minion wave. That's not worth, man. Maybe it is worth. He really wants his first blood, I guess. I don't want to give him first blood. He might get red buff or whatever. Wow, he hit level 4 before me? What? How? Just clear the minions, I guess? I'm scared he's behind that wall just waiting to jump on me. You know what I mean? Okay, we are going to back because he did sacrifice a wave to get red buff. And I quite unfortunately can't compete with that. But we can confirm our blue buff. And I'll go with that. It looks like he started Leather Cow into Ikaval. Ah, Ikaval's going to be painful, but what can you do, right? Um, I'm hoping he doesn't try to steal my blue buff. If he tries to steal my blue buff, that will oh, suck. No. <laughs> Doing a good job at guarding the wave. Good stuff all around from him. Oh my god, that's... No, I died! Are you kidding me? That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. And I died. I walled him and pushed him into the tower. That's so insane. But then I died to an archer. Oh, man. If I lived there, I might put that in the montage anyways. I don't care that I died. I don't care. That was cool, man. I've never gotten a play like that where I, where I literally pushed someone with the wall. Obviously, I've gotten a lot of kills where I walled someone off and they were in a bad spot. But uh, pushing them into tower? Uh-uh. First time for everything. Man, if I placed that wall earlier, I think that uh, I would have lived. 
Okay, it looks like he is backing, which means I can get this little XP buff. It doesn't really mean too much. He is ahead of me, which sucks, but that's all right. Um, the important thing is it is even it is even overall, I'd say. Um, him getting that Ichabal is going to suck big time. I walled off his impale, which is going to slow down his clear a lot, which is great. I missed. That's all right. Oh. Okay. I need to have my ultimate ready. The Ichabal dude? Ichabal's so damn strong. I can't attack? Oh, I need to get attack speed online. But do I skip my defense for it? I don't think so. I think we need to go breastplate into some... Uh, oh, he almost died there. He did die there. Hey, nice. Uh, very cool. <laughs> uh, let's clear the wave. I don't think red buff's up. But might as well get the timer. Uh, but yeah, I, I need attack speed. Attack speed is super important right now. Because, again, Ichabal is such a good item. It's so strong. And there's not too much counterplay for that. It's just going to back because... Uh, having that tier 1 defense is going to mean the world of a difference. It pretty much counteracts on hers passive of his protection shred. And I would very much like to have that. I kind of want to try to wall off his impale here. No, I can't do that. It's alright. Can't really stop him from taking red. But, you know. <laughs> Never mind. There we go. All right, good stuff overall, I would say. Got the red buff. That's what matters, right? Block the impale. Ah, oh, he's going to impale me. That kind of sucks. There we go. Oh, yeah, like I said... <laughs> As long as you don't get destroyed in early, this matchup is super interesting, man. Holy bully. Alright, yeah, we got a recall. Alright. Oh my goodness. Let's get tier 2 breastplate. Uh, yeah, we, we need to save up for that. Uh, he, he doesn't have mannequins, thank goodness. If he had mannequins... I would have to worry about uh, Demon King big time, but he does not have that, so that's not, that's really nice. Not having to worry about Demon King too much. He can still take it super fast, but um, I probably have enough time to go and check if I'm worried about that. He did use his impale instead of clearing the wave, which, hey, I'll take it. He is losing gold here. It's good for me. Overall, you know. Obviously, him having range is always going to be a plus in this type of matchup. You know what I mean? He's not all. If I try to freeze him, yep. Ah, I'm taking too much damage. We gotta, yeah, we gotta get on out of here, on her. We gotta get on out of here. Uh, second relic, uh, a sprint, I think is gonna be best. The 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 pillar late game becomes a huge problem. Beads would also be nice, but beads is a little bit more difficult to use, I would say. He's getting kind of low on mana. I would say we're tanky at this point. So like giving him doing little things like that doesn't help him too much. Like we're already almost healing it completely. In fact, I might go for a Demon King here because I he's pretty low on mana. And I want him to come and fight me here or I want to just take secure this with my ultimate. This is, this is pretty damn risky, but... I don't know if he's going to just recall, you know? Yep, 
Yeah, we do get it. He did re just recall, or maybe he went for red buff instead. Either way, I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to go a sprint. The advantage of going sprint right now means I don't have to save my second relic because obviously he's probably not going to get horrific if I get sprint. So I get to get my relic right now and use it for the fights overall. Just good stuff over, you know, with everything here. Uh, I can try to be a little bit more aggressive because... Because of his... Uh, his tower being down. Holy moly, does he do damage though? Oh my god. Okay, that's super bad. Ah, I'm dead. Unless... We already lost our Demon King advantage though. Kind of. Which isn't good. Did pop shell. Ah, oh, my wall didn't go off, man. Ah, oh, this is so difficult. This guy is... I cannot explain to you guys how good this player is. This is a better player than I am. Uh, he had a GM border, and I have never been GM ever. So honestly, I feel good about holding our own, but I think it is slowly starting to tilt into his favor. Oh, man. Yeah, Ikaval Shoguns. Not to mention how good Ikaval he is here. It's like, it's mitigating most of my damage because I can't get a tax leave, you know? Did steal my buff. This is bad. Coming back here from this far behind is pretty difficult. Man, that's funny. That's so funny that I say, let's play Ymir until I win in the second matchup we fight a GM. That's all right. That's okay. No shame in that, man. No shame in losing to a GM. It is just kind of unfortunate, I suppose. That is his escape. I missed the two. How unfortunate that I missed that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't, uh, man, I can't, I can't land my, I can't get the freeze with the impale constantly in the whale, in the way. Now, an obvious question might be, well, what about wing blade in this matchup, right? The thing is, I lose a lot of damage by going a wing blade here. Uh, it does help me, you know, navigate whenever he uses his pillar or whatever, but the amount of damage I lose is just really unfortunate. So, I mean, I might get it. But uh, maybe Relic Dagger. Because I have Sprint, Relic Dagger might be nice. Obviously, um, what's actually making me fall so far behind is the fact that he is getting pretty much every single buff on the map currently. That is his Intel, which is good, of course. Of co the problem is we can't really fight him because of... Whoops. I can't really fight him. It's gonna all. Ah, uh, no. Oh, man. The early game, man. Come on. Don't let it. Let me get one more kill. Let me get one more kill, but it's not gonna happen. Ah. Just the, the Ikaval, man. If it wasn't for the Ikaval, I'd actually have, like, some damage. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Look how much damage he gets on Titan here. He's playing the higher tier god. He is the better player. It's really hard to make anything work when those two things are the case. I'm surprised he stayed there knowing I have Link. But hey, I got my one more kill. That's a, that's enough for me. Still going to obviously try my hardest, but... Uh, look at my Titan, man. Look how low it is. And all my relics are down as well. He knows when to leap. He knows when to impale. He knows when to use his, his abilities. And his respawn timer is really low. Yeah, I think a wing, a relic dagger instead of wing blade would be nice. It does have better stats in this matchup because again, magical defense is useless here. 
Uh, I am also going to buy some wards to prevent the back door, or at least attempt to. Um, you know, you might leap over this wall. Or I don't really know where he is. There he is, he's in the middle lane. We have to know where he is constantly because of how low my titan is. Probably should have altered there or used something. Wow, how did you dodge that? Ah, I tried, man. I tried, GG's. GG's, I tried, man. Uh, I was hoping that this play Ymir until I win. What? You, wait, what is he doing? I was hoping this play Ymir until I win would have lasted longer. <laughs> oh, is he just beating? Homie, you're a GM. Uh, you don't gotta mean. Just feel free to end it. <laughs> you good? Okay. Whatever. Uh, I don't really know Cataract that well, so I don't know if he's memeing or what, whatnot. He's a very good player. Yeah, I was hoping to play Ymir until I win would last longer than this game did. Uh, I mean, one game, one win, one loss, but I mean, we got unlucky with it. We we fought a GM second match. That doesn't happen too well, too often. I don't fight GMs too often, but I felt like in the early game it was super fun, super close. Uh, and then yeah, Onher just showed his strength, man. Onher is a really good god. I play Onher myself every now and then. Uh, and yeah, it's a, it's difficult as you mirror, but it's fun, right? It's pretty fun just because of how, how much you can do. Um, I would say I learned a lot in that matchup, and if I were to play it again, I think I would do even better. And after all, isn't that what it's about? Uh, getting some, some victories and stuff like that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry that it's a little bit shorter. I'm happy to do a play your mirror until I lose again, and maybe we'll see what happens. But yeah, no, I, I'd say it still went pretty well.